Good morning everyone, welcome back. Mike McConville here one more time. Stratford, Ontario, Canada for String Tech Workstations. We have, a, we have a 1969 Stratocaster and there's a few things I want to point out that are kind of interesting. First of all, the string trees are kind of bunched together very closely. I found a couple more 69 Stratocasters online on Reverb, I think it was, and uh, they did this for a short time. Usually this string tree is quite a bit more forward than it is here. Just kind of an interesting thing to point out. Another thing I wanted to address was one of my subscribers recently, after seeing that green 1964 Custom Shop Strat, had mentioned that the strings were very close to the edge. And that is the case on both sides. These vintage fenders tended to have the strings very close to the outside edge. But the word of caution is, if you're doing any type of fret work, fret dressing, or, and even more importantly, refretting, you want to make sure that that outside bevel is not too shallow. I was very careful on the refret, because I've just refretted this guitar, to make sure that the bevel was not too shallow. It's not 90 degrees, but it's just off 90 because we need as much help as we can get with those strings that close to the edge of the fingerboard. So the complete refret is done. It's been leveled, crowned, and polished. No snags or jags along the edge, smooth as silk. And we have a compensated nut, of course. We will bring this in the house in a second. You get to hear it. It is spectacular. The other thing I wanted to point out is these are the famous Abigail pickups, original 1969 pickups. The electronics were more or less original. Now when the guitar came in, it wasn't making any sound at all, right? So I did open it up and uh, swapped out some of the plastic wires and then switched back to the original cloth fender wire. Input jack was rewired. The volume pot was pretty well fried. It had to be changed and it had its day. So this guitar bridge has the cast saddles. So I did the complete refret with the 9055, 55 thou high, 90 thou wide, kind of a tall, medium fret. And there's tons of traction now because the frets that came out were like Reynolds wrap. They, they were just flattened right out. Obviously the customer was nervous about, you know, bringing a 69 Strat anywhere. And I was delighted to take care of this for him. But we're going to bring this in the house and let you hear it. That is our 9 to 46 compensated nut at concert pitch. Well you can see there's no skunk stripe up the back of this neck. This is what's referred to as a slab sawn neck. And let me explain. I know there's a lot of confusion in the classes over this one. They thought it referred to the fingerboard, but no, it refers to the neck. Let me explain. Well here's a rather crude drawing of the cross section of the end of a log of wood. In order to have a quarter sawn plank where the orientation of the grain goes 90 degrees perpendicular to the plane of the blank, the cross section of the tree is cut in quarters like so. And each quarter of the log is sawn in kind of a wedge shape. Of course those wedge shapes are used for backs on arch top guitars and cellos and violins. But to produce this plank, a perfectly quarter sawn plank, it's pretty labor intensive. Quarter sawn compared to slab sawn. Now slab sawn essentially goes to the bandsaw mill and it's just sliced up like cheese. And the grain orientation in a slab sawn piece of wood looks like this. So the quarter sawn wood is the strongest orientation of the grain when you're kind of in a perfect world 90 degrees to the surface. The slab sawn in comparison, same species of wood, this is kind of a little bit more kind of rubbery for lack of a better word or, or more flexible. And that's what they're talking about when they talk about a slab sawn neck. It's not quarter sawn. For maple, quarter sawn is way too stiff. The slab sawn neck reacts with the truss rod a, a lot better than a quarter sawn neck. And that's what they're referring to when they say a slab, a slab neck or a slab sawn neck. And they are purported to have more resonance. And uh, when you hear this thing, I think you'll probably agree. Anyways, just wanted to explain that quarter sawn versus slabs. And there's a close-up of the plate. So let's go in, plug this thing in, and let you hear it. And by the way, 
these machine heads were swapped out for shalers at some time in the past and the post sits quite a bit higher off the face of the headstock with these uh, shaler heads. I did put some extra winds on that post to bring it down nice and tight. Well, it is Friday afternoon and I did my proverbial weekend purge of the shop and the tech decks. I basically pull out the foam pieces and then reload all the tools in the front trough, the back trough, and on either side of the neck assembly. Wipe the whole thing down, vacuum, and I'm ready to go now for the coming week. Yeah, this is our quick roundabout tour here. I've got my chisels on the right hand side of the double neck support. This is the GPS unit. And then I've got my socket drives and my Allen keys and small artist brushes and my palette knife. Of course, the underside of the body platform, I've got my uh, fret file, vernier calipers, and nippers. A telescopic uh, inspection mirror, my sanding blocks, some straight edges, and my bridge pin reamer, and some screwdrivers just kind of jammed into the foam, ready to snap up and go. On this side, I've got all my mini drill bits, and I got several size taps that I use for various things, and my little mini Dremel drum sanders. And that's more or less it. I have a little brush here that I use for just kind of wiping things off, and of course, a string winder. And then the trough on this end, more or less the same thing. I have all my little mini Allen keys for adjusting bridges. And then the slightly larger Allen keys on the other side of the trough. And that is how I set up for the coming week. Okay, so I did lay down a chord progression. So I'm going to let that play. going to show that but this is the exact opposite of quarter sawn. The grain runs in this direction. It's kind of hard to see with the maple the grain is so tight. I'll play the same lick on each pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
rhythm sequence. So I've got a progression looped. I'm going to let that play and I'll blow over top. 